Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. Today I'm playing Freedom Force. I finally got in. Let you check out the intro. It's pretty cool. This is a, another light gun game I like playing when I was a kid. Um, the thing about this particular game is that when it came out, I remember saving up because I knew new games were coming out and I wanted to get another shooter game. This was my second one I got. I'm going to play a game while we're talking here. Please excuse the boxes in the background. So basically, uh, this is a terrorist game where you have to kill these terrorists that took over the air airport. Now, you got there at the bottom, you can get more bullets there. It's also got your health there on the bottom right hand side you can get, but you can't miss shooting the terrorists because they'll shoot you and take away from your health. Now, you can't shoot the people that have hostages, so. Oh, I just shot hostages. So that's how you maintain your health and bullets. That thing, that box on the bottom right inside. Uh, the health doesn't stay long there either, so you gotta be quick. So, oh no, I shot another one. And see my errors? I can only make so many and I'm out. I don't know. I missed that guy. Uh... I think I went to the next round here. Yeah. So basically, uh, I got this game I had for a little while, and then I found out Nintendo was pulling it off the shelf because parents were complaining because of the blood, as you can see. And, uh, oh no. I'm running out. I can't. I gotta be careful with my bullets here. Oh no. I did for my health. I haven't played this since I was a kid, so I just popped it in and powered it up and hit record. So you're seeing what I'm seeing for the first time in years. Let me play again. So like I said, I got it as a kid, then I found out parents were complaining about it, and Nintendo pulled it off the shelves. Now when I lost my collection uh, in storage unit, one of, the, one of the games I wanted to get was this one. I was on eBay and uh, these things are going anywhere between $15 to $30. Oh no, I just killed a pa uh, hostage. So, um, I got more ammo. So you gotta maintain your ammo and your health. Okay, I got to the second round again. So uh, when they pull off the shelf, it became harder to find. And so I was on eBay, like I said, about 15, 20 bucks has been the average price I can see. I don't know. I lost my health there. Damn, I'm really stuck in this. Uh, so basically, um, I found a guy who had reached out to me. He was looking at one of my auctions. Well, one of the items I have for sale. I can give it one more shot here. And um, he wanted to know if I wanted to do the trade because he's, you know, I asked him for an offer because you know, he had to make a best offer. So I asked, you know, will he be willing to sell this for 10 bucks? He had free shipping. I always try to find options with free shipping or, you know, items with free shipping. And he said, well, you know, you got that Star Trek. Uh, I had this little figure. And so he wanted it. So we made an even exchange. Each of us paid for shipping. And, uh, I don't know. 
So we each paid for shipping for each, and we just swapped it out. And he's in Austin, so you know I got my item real quick, and so did he. Oh no! Can't shoot the hostages. <laughs> and uh, it, it's just you know if you guys get some of these older games, especially ones that are hard to find, like Freedom Force, uh, definitely eBay's your place. I went to FS Exchange and. They had one brand new in the box, um, and unopened, and they're asking for 150 bucks, which I'll never pay that much for a game, because I'm going to open it up and play it. I'm not one of those that collects like that. I collect to play and own. So, yeah, um, definitely eBay is your best bet for this game if you want to get, I don't know. If I can make it past this level here. I need health. Alright, made it past this level. Now I remember how far I used to get as a kid. Oh yeah, this is where you get the, the extra points. I usually do the vowels. I don't know. So, um, yeah, best bet would be definitely eBay. Uh, FX Exchange, you know, they had that one in the box. And then uh, there's this huge place I go and get uh, used movies from. They have, you know, Nintendo games. Uh, and uh, their pricing is pretty different. I mean, it depends on the game. But they got a lot of individual carts, nothing in box. And, uh... They're going like five bucks to ten bucks on the average. So it's kind of like, you know, that's what you can pay for the majority of these games. Two to five bucks to ten bucks. And then the ones that are harder to find. Uh, Wild Gunman's another game. I've been seeing that go for thirty bucks. So I'm trying to make a deal with a few people, trying to see if they want to do any swap outs for any of my auctions or try to work a deal. I won't pay past fifteen bucks for it. Um, but that's another hard one that, you know, goes anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks. So, let me get one more shot. I'm kind of damned and determined. Yeah, if the till didn't pull this off the shelf, I bet I could find this for a few bucks. But unfortunately, Nintendo did what they did. Oh no, they can't kill the hostages. Yeah, the health doesn't stay on long enough, so you gotta be pretty quick with that. And what you gotta do is shoot these guys before. Sometimes they throw out. Um, they really, oh, I just killed another. Uh, they don't have these grenades they throw at you, and that really kills your health, as you saw. So I think I'm gonna stick strictly to shoot these guys to see if I can get past that third stage or get. A little bit further than that third stage. Yeah, I mean, I loved this game as a kid. I, I didn't think about, you know, the terrorist thing. I don't know. See, that wiped up my health. I need help bad now. No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah, this is the stage you like to throw those grenades at you. One more grenade hit, I'm out. I need health bad. Uh, well, guys, I appreciate hanging out, watching me play this light gun game that I haven't played in decades since I was a kid. Uh, do me a favor, if you thought this video was cool, hit the like button. Um, I got the uh, Geek and I podcast I'm doing. We're doing uh, episode three. Down below is my listings of uh, you know videos that I have my list, my playlist. Uh, there's a Geek and I there. I always put the uh, the uh, video that, uh, that we do next so that way you can catch up with it but go over to the Geek and I YouTube channel uh, subscribe to that hit the button and show it some love once again thank you for hanging out the Collector Zone subscribe and hit the uh, uh, iconic bell button if you haven't already but I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me playing Freedom Force 
came out in 1988, as you saw. Well, guys, I'm going back in. I ain't going to kick some terrorists, but... Layers, guys. 